Okay, so it is currently Wednesday, and Grayson's birthday is on Saturday. I actually got him a remote control truck for his birthday, but he's had a go-kart sitting outside that a family friend has given us uh, probably like two months ago. He knows the go-kart's his, but we haven't had time because of the buggy and stuff uh, to work on it. He's never drove a go-kart himself. He has a four-wheeler. So today, we're going to scramble and throw this Tillotson from Go Power Sports, a new 30 series, and some new wheels and tires on it for him just to get him going. Now, this is going to be a long series of videos on this go-kart of us adding front suspension, adding a semi-independent rear to it. But today, we just want to get it running safely for him so he can drive it around the yard. It's going to be a pretty sweet little build. Uh, and we're trying to surprise him with this. So we need to tape up the kitchen door window so he can't look out after school because he always comes out here after school. And you got to say... Daddy's in a bad mood. Don't go out there. And he'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> so let's go get this go-kart. He always wants to be out here with Daddy. <laughs> yeah. So this is a uh, Manco, pretty much. Uh, it's a Havoc M5 Fox, I think they call it. But, um, you know, they use the Fox logo like the Fox Suspension Company. So this guy has an old-school Harbor Freight Greyhound engine on this. And this was before they called them Predators. Uh, he has a Go Power Sports header on it, a Stage 1. He actually won. He did a RBG, like years ago, we did a look-alike contest for Halloween. Yeah. And he actually won it because he looked, he put a beard on, he was in his go-kart and stuff. So, uh, this is a go-kart. I think it looks just like Aubrey's um, Zircon. It's really the same looking go-kart. So, get this thing in the garage and... Pull it roll. Yeah. This is a live axle go-kart, it has the hex axle. And Manco used the hex axle because in the assembly line, people was forgetting to put keys in sprocket and brakes, and they would end up chewing up the rotor, they would get a return on it. So with the hex axle, you don't need a key, and it just makes assembly faster. Fun fact. This probably looks like the Zircon because uh, Zircon was basically made by American Landmaster, which uh, was bought out, which bought out Manco. Hers has this same exact sticker that says dual wheel drive on it. So we are going to be removing this hex axle. I believe a hex axle is stronger than a standard round one inch axle, but I don't have any hubs for it. We never mess with them. So I'm wanting to put hydraulic disc brakes on this because, of course, for my son, I want it to stop really well. So uh, we're going to be pulling off this axle, putting a new Go Power Sports one inch axle. And uh, I'm going to be, there's no way I'm probably getting these wheels off. They're probably rusted on. Um, so I'm just going to drop the whole axle and we'll put a set of V treads on the back. We won't be able to put a different set of fronts right now because uh, we don't have enough clearance until we do the front suspension. So we're going to rip this back in apart and rip the front end apart, get this thing done tripod action. So this sprocket is uh, pretty messed up as well is the reason we're not using any of this and like I said on the brake uh, we don't have a hub for this hex axle so unfortunately we're going to have to cut this hex axle in two because the way manco designed this there's no way you can drop the axle out with like you could a standard go power sports axle flange bearing flange so i'm going to cut the axle here then we'll have to cut it in between the tire and the frame over here to be able to disassemble this whole thing and then we just need to make sure we keep our new components greased really well to be able to pull them apart so let's get the cut
So we pulled the original tie rods off and we're gonna reuse them. We just need to replace a few of the tie rod ends. This one's bent. And then uh, both sides basically have one bent. So we're gonna throw these old ones away. And luckily I had some uh, old used Go Power Sports uh, that are still in really good shape because again, we're only leaving this uh, standard style go-kart steering on here just to let them ride it and get used to a go-kart then we'll do double a arm front suspension so we'll get these new links put on and get the front end put back together So I about forgot to, uh, to film this, but I'm adding the uh, same race cart style brakes from Go Power Sports that I do on a lot of uh, these style builds because it is super easy to mount these, super quick. So what I'm gonna do is I take uh, four of Go Power Sports large gussets, bolt, bolt them right to it, you don't have to do nothing. That's the easiest way and I've welded a quarter inch thick plate under here. That's a little overkill, but that's what I had, you know. So, I'm going to just push it over to the side like that. I'm going to tack these gussets on, then unbolt everything and fully weld it. So a little recap of what we've done on this thing. We added Go Power Sports uh, race cart style hydraulic brakes. We actually took these off of Braxton's old go kart. He traded in on that uh, Yamaha Virago motorcycle. So uh, we've kind of been parting it out. But Grayson got his brakes. We put new tie rod ends from Go Power Sports. Uh, the tires are off Grayson's old Chinese four wheeler. The frame broke in like four places because it was garbage. So we took the tires off and used the original rims. Put some new 5 8 bearings. All the links to all these parts from Go Power Sports is in the video description. Uh, we had to cut that hex axle off because everything was seized on it. Um, put a brand new live axle. We did some brand new 16 inch V treads. Uh, we did a Tilson with stage one, but it is governor. And we geared it at a 5.4 to 1 ratio, I believe. Uh, we use Go Power Sports new. 420 split sprockets so if we ever want to regear this it's super simple you don't have to drop the axle because this manco was designed it doesn't have you can't drop the axle you got to pull the axle out and i don't like that because it makes it a lot harder but the, there's our carnage pile um we'll put that engine aside change the oil in or drain the oil oil uh, oil and gas and everything out of it we'll probably keep those tires for something else um but yeah so i'm gonna Take this thing for a ride make sure it's safe we are probably going to have to move the seat for him i'm gonna have to cut the brackets off and weld them further up because this seat is all the way forward. oh my gosh all the way forward in its uh, farthest slid up position and these go-karts have two different bolt holes patterns so you can move the seat further back even more um yeah it'll be really nice for him we'll let him ride this for like a month then we'll start the next phase on this build um which is going to make it awesome so I'm going to take it for a ride and then we'll wait till uh, we're going to take it out to the field and let and surprise him. He won't know it's there.
בנאס. So I had to real quick go grab my GoPro because this thing freaking rips. It goes probably 40, 45 mile per hour. Uh, I won't be able to, to have it on screen. So what I'm going to do is just hold my phone with the GPS app to see what this thing will do on top speed. So let's go give her a rip. That is crazy that this thing will do 46 mile per hour. I mean, just to be a kid's go-kart, that is way more than Grayson needs. So uh, it takes off with plenty of power. It'll take off spinning in the gravel and the grass with me. So uh, we're not gonna film giving this to him because we don't wanna put a camera in the kid's face when he's getting a, a gift, you know, that would be a little awkward. So we're gonna keep this one, the reveal um, to ourselves, but we are going to take him out to this field, let him ride. He has driven a go-kart before when we had that Coleman KT196. He drove it, but he was like five year old back then. So uh, the problem has been he can't reach the pedals on anything. So this one, I'm gonna move the seat up so he can reach them really well. We're gonna take him out, let him drive it around the field and uh, let him have a good time with Aubrey. She's gonna be on her Zircon. He's gonna be on the baby Zircon. And uh, make sure to check out the links in the video's description where you can find every part we use on this go-kart. Those do help us out and help us to continue to put out videos. So uh, please try and use those and tell them Redbeard sent you because it does help us Keep on producing these videos, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We love you and God bless.